also underway after a tornado outbreak there. Check out this video. This is Claremore, just outside of Tulsa. 23 people were hurt there, including three with life-threatening injuries. Yeah, that tornado swept through a campground, forcing people to run for their lives and seek shelter. Among them, a couple from Salt Lake City. Can you even imagine? Yeah. No, Kristen McPeak spoke to them exclusively today. And Kristen, that's quite an ordeal to survive. That couple is heading back here to Salt Lake City within the next few days as that airstream that they were living in was their home. It was like someone that just shook us box and just then dropped everything. That's one way to describe the devastation in Claremore, Oklahoma. The Rollins were staying in a campground there when a tornado hit over the weekend. Their camper found hundreds of feet away from their campsite. Now the two are left speechless. It was total chaos. When the two got the alarm that a tornado was coming, they ran into a nearby shelter in the campground. We were screaming to let someone needs to come in, someone needs to come in, and the, they had a security guard, he finally opened them in, and this man ran in with his two toddlers and um, just in their pajamas. And he, I mean, they barely made it in. It was just terrifying. What were your thoughts when you first came out of the shelter? My thought was to go figure out where our house was. Their home, an Airstream camper. It was upside down, um, and uh, I mean, Airstreams are shaped like buses, basically, and it was flat, mostly flat. Noel and Jason have been traveling in this home full time. They lost everything, but that's not stopping them from living their dreams. So you do plan to continue life on the road? Oh, yeah. Maybe not so much in the South. <laughs> And we'll never forget this horrific experience and the kindness of the people surrounding it. People are fundamentally good and kind, yeah. and um, we've learned that on the road, and I think we have seen it Especially a million now. fold on this right now. And we'll have a GoFundMe page on our website to help the couple as insurance does cover their Airstream, but everything that was in it, all their belongings, they need to replace that too. And so uh, you can find that on our website, KUTV.com. Live in Salt Lake City, Krista McPeak, KUTV 2 News.